Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Okay, so apparently there are three color displays and four color displays. Now, other than one having one more color than the other, assumedly, what's the difference? You've probably seen the commercials on TV with the guy who played Sulu on Star Trek. Right, George Takai. Yeah, he says there's a new color. You can see a color that you couldn't see before. It, really? <laughs> okay, so we've talked a little bit about contrast ratios. One way to fake contrast ratios is to basically just add and subtract the amount of yellow. You know, you like, it's brightness. Okay. So if you have four pixels, it's easier to make the LCD because instead of doing three in little triangles, you get four right next to each other. Okay. Red, green, blue, and this yellow one for an extra amount of brightness, contrast. The problem with that is that's not how video signals work. What are the three colors in a component cable? RGB. Right. And do you know what the parts of a VGA cable are? Red, green, blue, and sync. <laughs> oh, sync, yes. I was thinking chrominance, luminance, and... So that's right. that's the printing. If, 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 if we were printing video, we would use... <laughs> C-M-Y-K. Right. <laughs> um, we don't print video. No. It's, it's light. It's not filters and pigments. So the way the four color displays work is they fake that brightness with the fourth color. Um, the advantage of that is you can have a better dynamic contrast or a button but you don't actually get truer colors. You know, the advertisements say, oh, you get truer right, colors. Right, right. And what is that? <sighs> it doesn't mean anything to me. I mean, you, you don't get truer colors because if everybody's mastering for televisions with three, RGB, right. then the way the guy who shot the video and edited the video and color corrected the video saw the video is not the way that those four color displays were seeing it. Well, what about uh, a product that could play back a four color a video or an image um there isn't one of okay. those i mean it, it's kind of like the cmyk versus red green blue thing of there are going to be colors that exist in one of them that don't exist in the other just things that you can't quite hit or match so do you think though that i mean four <clears throat> sounds like it'd be better than three at this point is it just frivolous or at some point will it become the norm we picked red, green, blue because those are the three primary colors. So adding a fourth color, yellow, that is a combination of red and green... Seems is, frivolous. It, it, it's just frivolous. It's just extra stuff that isn't really going to do anything. Hmm. Um, there is talk about, and that one of the ways that HDMI works is you push red, green, blue plus alpha, RGBA. And alpha is... Like a transparency channel? Well, anytime alpha, I hear alpha, that's what I. Alpha is it, no, no, it is it, when you're doing text edit, when you're doing graphic design, Image, alpha yeah. is a transparency. In this particular case, RGB alpha, alpha is really a brightness level, and so the color is a shade, and then the brightness gets attached to it afterwards, so you can get to a larger number of colors and a larger number of ranges. Hmm. Um, there's some weirdness with some colors overlap then in those scenarios because of the way luminosity works. But uh, for the most part, that's the difference between the three times eight 24 bit color and the three and the four times eight 32 bit color. So it's hearing gone. Yeah. Now you know.